Hey, Kyle Eric reviewing set 405 Tree Tree, the Cosmic Cardboard Adventure set. This set releases a gift with purchase June 1st this year, but you could also buy it on Lego.com for 20 euro. It was a one minifigure, and well, that's it. Let's get into the review. So, you only get one minifigure in this set who is just this random kid. Uh, he uses the motorcycle helmet in brown, well, I, like this shade of brown. I think this is the first time we've ever gotten this piece in this color, which is pretty great. Uh, this face print, I'm not sure if it's new or not. It might be from Lego City, but I think it might be new. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I don't really collect Lego City. Uh, that torso looks somewhat new, I think. Uh, it's got the uh, Space Explorer uh, shuttle from, like, well, what, the 80s or something? That, which they did re-release this year, which is pretty cool. I guess this was foreshadowing towards that. It also has this random little thing, like this button or something, which is okay. And there is no torso printing at the back, which, yeah, this is a fine minifigure. But anyway, let's move on to the side build in the set. So the first side build we have here in the set is this like little mech for this teddy bear, which looks pretty dang sweet. It's made up of like, um, well, yeah, these parts you can see here. It's got the classic, or well, at least the CMS series, uh, blaster, a whisk. And two umbrellas for a jetpack on the back, which looks pretty cool. I mean, it doesn't connect to the set. It's just kind of on this little stand here, so it doesn't fall over. But it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also lift this up, kind of. But it's just... It is what it is. It's pretty cool. It fits the vibe of the set. Now, taking a look at the build, though. Oh, I was really impressed with this. I honestly thought the like, piece count was a bit bloated. I was like, there's no way it's going to look this good. But it looks pretty damn good in person. Uh, it's just a little, like, chunk of this wall here. You also completely remove the spaceship as well. It's, there's some of those uh, anti-studs right there, which we'll take a look at the spaceship in a minute. But the room without it looks pretty barren. You have these, like, green micro figures that are meant to be army men, with the paintbrush and the paint there. Some scissors. Uh, this sticker as well of one of the moon base sets from, like, the 80s or something. And just the classic old, well, not really old, but, like, you know, those classic windows. Just kind of open and close like that. A little rocket there too. It's a really nice little set. Uh, the floor, or whatever it is, made of these tiles. They look like they glow in the dark, but they don't actually, which is weird. But it fits the vibe of the set. It's pretty good. But anyway, let's move on to the rocket. Now the rocket itself is just a really nifty part of the set. Also, just as a little thing here, I did put that sticker upside down. I cannot be bothered to remove it. Uh, but here, just you have all these little decals of the up. You have like a little fireballs or meteors as well as there. You have a little compartment for the cat, which can also be removed. And you can see there you have another sticker for sort of like a control panel, which looks pretty good. And you can just remove the minifigure from there. Although it is recommended that you only put in a minifigure with its short legs, so it kind of just fits. And you also have another concept piece there, which is pretty cool. This is just like, it's pretty neat. Uh, underneath there is wings of two plungers, and at the back you have all of these, uh, like, orange juice, or I guess Fanta cans, which is pretty cool. You get a lot of these, uh, top can pieces as well, by the way, so it's pretty useful to get this set. Uh, it's just pretty cool, I like it. But anyway, let's move on to the instructions. So, taking like the instructions here, uh, they're just the normal 18 plus ones, just really small. Uh, you can stop and pause there if you want to read any of this text here. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't believe, oh, you have here as well, all the stuff at the back. I don't believe there's any ads. No, it doesn't even have the feedback thing for most LEGO like, Ideas sets, but it's it's pretty good. Anyway, let's move on to the box and my final opinions. So at the front there, we just have the box art and the black void. That is the 18 plus sets. Uh, I, I really like as well the brown strip that kind of goes around there. Also as well has the piece count, which you don't get over here in Europe. Um... You just have the spaceship at the side, and at the back as well, you have the dimensions of the set, which it's not as small as you think in person, which is another thing. Uh, some info there about LEGO Ideas, and yeah. But anyway, do I recommend getting the set now? I mean, obviously, this was a free set you get in June. I got this through getting the crystallized sets, also some other sets. If you see that on Twitter, you know what's up. Uh, but it, it's pretty good. You can also buy it for 20 I believe, but I don't think you can buy it anymore on lego.com. I think it's sold out or at least delisted. The only like aftermarket price I've seen was a ridiculous one, about 70 This set is not worth 70 
I'd say if you can get this for below 30, it's a good price, but you could probably pirate it out in Brooklyn or something. But anyway, enjoy today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.